Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I hope everyone is safe, healthy and positive at their home. This side Seema and today's topic in maths is being taken from class 8th. So friends, today's topic is triangles and its type. We are going to understand what is a triangle or what do we understand by the term triangle and what are its various types. Starting now with what is triangle. So a triangle is a polygon with three edges and three vertices. It, has, it is one of the basic shapes of geometry. A triangle with the vertices of ABC is denoted as triangle ABC. Now in the image we can see we have a triangle which have three edges or three sides and it again have three vertices or three angles. So any closed polygon with three edges and three vertices is termed as triangle. Now let's try to understand what are the various types of angle and on what basis are these tri triangles classified. So majorly angles are classified on the basis of sides that is the length of a side and on the basis of angles that is measure of angles. So today we will be studying about the classification of triangle on the basis of sides. So starting up with the types of triangle or the classification of triangles on the basis of sides. Triangles are classified into three on the basis of the sides or on the basis of the length of the side. That is equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. Let's try to understand about all these three types of triangle in detail further. So now let's try to understand about equilateral triangle in a triangle. We can see in the image we have a triangle ABC. Now in this triangle the side AB and the side BC and the side CA are of equal length. And the angle A is equal to angle B uh, is equal to angle C. That is all these three angles are of equal measure. So the major properties about equilateral triangle is that it has three equal sides that is the sides are of equal length and it has three equal angles. It has three equals angle because the sum of a triangle, sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So each angle in this equilateral triangle measures 60 degree. So therefore this equilateral triangle is also called as equiangular triangle and the major property about this equilateral triangle is that it is a regular polygon. Means all the sides are of equal length. And here the altitude and median pass through the same point from the vertex to the base. And hence the orthocenter and the centroid coincide at the same point in equilateral triangle. I hope we were able to understand till here. Now here we will be understanding what is isosceles triangle and how we can differentiate it from the other types of triangle. So isosceles triangle is a triangle which has two equal sides. In the image we can see we have a triangle ABC where the length of AB is equal to the length of AC. And then the corresponding angle to these equal length are equal to each other. That is angle B is equal to angle C. So there uh, we can see that uh, the two sides are equal to each other and the corresponding angles are equal to each other. And these angles are majorly base angles. Whenever we have the right angle in the isosceles triangle, we term that type of isosceles triangle as right angled isosceles triangle. And one of the major properties that the apex that comes from the 
the altitude that comes from the apex to the base divide the angle at the apex into two this is the one of the major property so here are the uh, properties which will we will be able to understand and we will be able to differentiate the isosceles triangle to from the different types of triangle so last but not the least let's try to understand about scalene triangle scalene triangle is a triangle which have all the sides of different length and hence all the angles are of different measure but the sum of all the angles of a triangle will always remain 180 degree in the image we can see we have a triangle of length a b and c and all these sides that is a is not equal to b and which is again not equal to c so all the three sides are of different length That's all for the day. So let's do the quick recap of what all things we have learnt. We have learnt about triangle. What is triangle? Then we got to know on what all basis we classify the triangle. We classify the triangle on the basis of sides on and on the basis of angles. And in this video we have studied about the classification of triangle on the basis of side. The Three types of triangle on the basis of sides are equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalene triangle. If we talk about equilateral triangle, all the sides are of equal length and all the angles are equal to each other. Coming up to the second one that is isosceles triangle. It is a triangle where the two sides are of equal length and two angles are of equal length measure the corresponding angle of the equal length are equal to each other third one is the scalene triangle which have the three sides of different length and the three angles of different measures here is a home assignment which is related to the topic that we have done today we just need to understand uh, as per the picture what type of triangle does it depict and we to we need to write it down and in any case if you are not able to solve it just please comment below in the comment box so that i can provide you the solution and it is related to the topic so we will be able to revise this topic if we are able to do it that's all for the day I hope you might have enjoyed this session. Thank you for watching my video and please do like, subscribe and share it with your friends and uh, to get notified about the upcoming videos related to science and maths, just press the bell icon near to subscription button and till we meet next, stay home, stay safe. Thank you.